Good evening, class. Today we will see the last two labs for Magaya. Lab number 11, created a purchase order. And law, um, lab number 12, create a sales order. We will see this very quickly because you have experience uh, uh, in Magaya and create different items in Magaya. And uh, this is only uh, the same thing with another, another part, but the, the process is, is very similar, okay? Let's begin with create a purchase order. Okay, you are a good seller who buy and sell inventory in this assignment. You will enter resell item definitions into Magaya software, enter a salesperson and set up their commission, create three purchase order, three purchase order to buy items, create a bill for each purchase order, and recite the items in the warehouse. It's important that you create good these items because you will use in lab number 12. You create uh, as not uh, uh, correct uh, the items, you will have trouble in lab number 12. For this reason, press uh, very attention for this lab and, and, and create correctly all the items required. Okay, one, enter a sale inventory items, go to warehousing, folder inventory item definitions okay we have a lot of inventory item definition for for all the items that we created okay click the add button and select add resellable resellable inventory item okay a dialog box open enter the text of login three spark plugs add your student number to the pad number where you see the symbol that uh, number number okay part number okay in my case 40 q q uh, c i o w e p model iridium iridium description champion spark plug champion spark Look, package type box, box, okay. Purchase price, $8. Sales price, $10. Manufacturer, champion automotive. Say, 830 is in the drop down, you only need to the name, okay. We create a new manufacturer, only put the name, champion champion automotive okay okay great okay dimensions where is the dimensions here is the dimensions two inches times two inches times four inches and the weight is 0 0.5 half pound the order the other field is filling automatically Click finish. We have this, for example, the inventory type, FIFO, LIFO, FFO, LFO. You will learn this or you are, you learn it this in another class for inventory management. Okay. In this case, we will only put the default. Okay. And you press finish. Okay. Next, let's create the second item. Add result level in the inventory. In the second case, I put 40, my number 4418. I model model platinum. Platinum description. Bosch Spark. Look, package box. Uh, purchase price $3. Price five dollars. Manufacturer again. We create a new manufacturer that is called Bosch. Okay, dimensions two times two times four. Weight half pound zero point five. The other fields will fill it automatically. Okay. Finish. Okay, and the last one. 
address level inventory. We will go to page number two. And the last one is the part number is 40. A B2744. The model is platinum. Platinum. The description auto auto light spark plug package type box box purchase price one dollar selling price two dollars manufacturer again new manufacturer auto light automotive Auto light automotive. Okay. Dimension two times two times four. Weight uh, zero point five. The other heads we finish grade automatically. Okay, bam, 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 which is price, one, two, fish. Okay, only, let's make a refresh. Uh, let's see, well, here is some, um, let me check for my items. This is my one item, four, look, uh, Dun, dun, dun. All the items are created. Wait, let's see the price. Where is the price? Literally, volume, nothing. No. Let me check one thing here. Dun, 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 dun. Change weight, unit, accounting, monetary value. Let me cancel one. Let's see my second item forty four forty eight. Let's see what is this. This is the second item, right? Volume weight, the model platinum. The content don't have any price register there. Hmm? Strange. Okay. Let's see, categories, criteria, substitutes, note. Uh, let me see, perhaps here we have the prices, no? Mm, I'm looking for the prices, but I don't see anything. Let's see the deal. Accounting, yes. It's not here. Well. Let me see. Type stop item per number. I don't find. Let's see in commissions. No, let's see not in commissions. I'm looking for the price, but I don't see any part where I can see the price. Perhaps we can check in in another file. Well, for the moment, let's let's continue the exercise. Okay. After that, we will check you if the information is loaded. But well, we put the price, the purchase, and the response. Okay, let's go to step number two. Enter a salesperson in Umagaya system. Go to maintenance, salesperson, click add, and uh, enter the name 40, Jeff Smith, phone, Nine zero four five 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 one two three four. Okay, on the participation tab, click add and select inventory participation. Okay, in the dialog box, select add, select the charge champion as part. Blue, my champion is bar blue. That is the 40. Okay. Person, and um, please select your 
on a champion spark group okay be sure to select your number okay okay type percentage of income the type is percentage of income value 10 percent and enter the percent sign and click okay what is say that say for the income not for the profit for the income uh, the guy will receive 10 percent okay if this goes I, let's see how much cost this champion is per group this costs ten dollars for ten dollars the ten percent is the commission for this guy one dollar okay for each champion is per group that sell if we put percentage of the profit the profit between these the sales price is 10 the purchase price is a the profit is two right and let's say uh, two percent ten percent of two is only 20 cents okay yeah no. it's two different forms that you can deal with your with your uh, another form flat value or you have a uh, only one amount of dollars flat for each sales for the for the items okay this can be negotiated with your with your salesman okay but in this case is when the percentage of income 10 percent you press okay do not enter yeah it clicks okay um and say okay and um, and put at and say do the same for the others we're looking for Bosch spark plug for my Bosch spark plug is this my Bosch spark plug percentage of income in this case is five percent okay and last one for my auto light for him auto light spark plug for him percentage of income and the value is two percent okay this is the thing okay 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 and created the participation for three items for this guy okay and please okay okay ready next number three page number two create three purchase order okay go to purchasing purchase orders click the add button okay to create the crisp purchase order a dialog box opens enter the following information in the general tab select the payment payment terms where is the payment terms here net 30 days net 30 days here select a mode of transportation in the via via uh, select truck okay select the shipping date tomorrow say yes let's put shipping date theory uh, select the buyer where is the buyer where is the buyer buyer here select the buyer international supply the whole salary is the default mm. for the international supplier I have yes I have here for international supplier you don't have only create this please and select the seller champion automotive okay ready how to add items to purchase if items are commodities okay here commodities on the commodity stuff enter 100 let's uh, uh, enter 100 champion store plus to purchase click the add button a line is highlighted click the part number column on the line to activate drop food menu okay let me see click the add button on the commodity stuff click the add button okay click the add button oh no sorry i will uh, delete this delete okay you want to select yes it created the button a line is selected click in the part number column okay in this column uh select your your my my case the 40 40 qc UMP. okay okay Take click the quantity column and enter 100. 
Let's put this one hundred. No, the status of the items is ordered. The status will be dated and you perform related transactions. For example, when the item is received and placed in location, the status change to how, how do you add a charge? Go to the correct tab. Okay. I put this, I put this. Okay, 100. Uh, let's see. Yeah, this is a purchase order. It's not a sales order. In this case, I buy to these guys at $8. The order is for $800. Okay, this is good. Okay, uh, okay. Uh, how do we add a chart? Go to the correct tab. Okay, I will go to chart. Add an expense chart. Let's see. Add expense chart. What kind of expense chart? Inland freight cost. Inland freight cost. Description trucking. I will put trucking at fifteen dollars for each PO on the charge staff. Let me see champion automobile uh, expense address research price prepaid. Okay, and we will put fifteen dollars. Okay, fifteen dollars. Okay, fifteen dollars on the charge staff. Okay. We will leave the other tab banks in 46 size. The information in the and purchase order. Board. Okay. I will put this. Okay. Okay. $15. Perfect. I will press. Okay. Okay. It's ready. This is the purchase order. I will buy the charge for $15. Perfect. Okay. Next. Number, step number four. Create a bill. How do you create a bill on your Magaya system for the purchase over there? In this purchase order, click the button actions and say and select create bill. I create a bill. This bill is filled with the charge for the PO automatically. Okay, the two charges, perfect. Click OK to save it. It is saved in the bill list or your content folder. Okay, save it. Okay, this is the bill. Okay. Yeah, the real bill, uh, you, uh, the champion automotive will send you a bill, right? But this is, can be a, a reference, okay? No create two more door, two more PO, one for the boys and one for the other lady spies, buy 100 for each one, create a bill for each, for each PO. Uh, yeah, yeah, for each one, okay. In this case, I will go again to purchasing. Purchase orders. I create a new purchase order. Get button. A dialog box appear. And in the following terms, payment terms thirty days. Okay. Modern transportation via 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 truck. Okay. Shipping day tomorrow. Okay. Select the buyer. The buyer will be in a international supplier. And the, 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 will sell him. And the seller it will be no champion automotive. In the second case is Bosch, right? I'm looking for Bosch. Okay. The seller is Bosch in this case. Okay. Ready. Okay, and the commodity stuff at the bar number. Let's look for the Bosch for my 40 Bosch. 40, 40, 40, 40 here. Bosch Spark Club. Okay, the Bosch. How, how much quantity? 100. Perfect. Tough. Okay, 300. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. The content the status of it is this order. Okay, how do you have a charge? Go to charge, press that, expense charge, charge this is for inland freight cost, description trucking, trucking, apply $15, $15. Um, unpaid prepaid okay 
Really after the class, we okay. Okay, da, da, da. the locate information there appears to be transferred. Okay, and I please, okay, yeah, this is the new 130 into 50. Okay, and after that, go to here, create a bill, and the, the charges is ready. I click OK to save it. Okay, perfect. And the last purchase orders. I go again to purchase order, new purchase order. Okay, permit stairs, 30 days. Volumes well, transportation via trucking, truck. Yeah, select shipping day tomorrow. Select the buyer, international suppliers, okay. Uh, and the seller in the third case is automotive, auto light automotive. Uh -huh. Okay, 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 okay. Next, uh, I believe it's all of this part, okay. Yeah, go to commodities, add the part number is the 40 auto light. What is the 40 auto light? In my case, right? For yeah, auto light spark plug. Oh, no, this is yours. Where is my for auto light? Here is my for auto light. Okay. Here's my for How much? One hundred. This costs one dollar. Okay. Okay. And this is ready. I go to charge. I add a charge. Expense. Expense charge. Inland freight cost, description, trucking, trucking, $15. Okay, and prepaid, okay, and press, okay. Auto light, 115 the trucking, okay. And the last part, create a bill, right? Here, create bill. Is the to charge okay and press okay and the bill is great okay ready we do this part step number six create a warehouse receipt for the PO how do you convert transaction to an another transaction hit the action buttons yes for the PO document view okay here's the POs uh, Click the action buttons and select create warehouse receive. Select items by clicking to mega check mark, appear in the box and click OK. A warehouse dialog book opens. Need to create a warehouse first. Receive first, the, the, then modify the commodity. Go to the commodity staff, double click on each item. Click the location field and select A3. And you will see the status on the items no hold. Click OK, we will leave the first and OK. How well do you do this? OK, for the PO document view, click the action button. Let's see what I can put here. Action buttons and select uh, create a warehouse receive. OK. Uh, on how to convert them. I believe that we don't have to create one more one. We can create only one where it has received. Um, so, and with this, oh yes, no, we cannot create, we have to select. Okay, I select, create where it has received, one by one. Okay. Okay, with this, select commodities, I select this. And come on, you shit into open one by one, click the location field. See what happened? Okay. Commodities. Uh -huh. Auto light. Uh, I put edit. And I will say that the with the storage in with 40 AL3. Okay, I put okay. I put okay. Let's see what happened. Okay, the status of the eight and charge for the eight and charge to on hand. The blue 
box. Let's see. Look, this changed to on hand. Okay, I repeat for this. You select the second item, create what it has received, select the item, put OK, go to commodities, select, edit, say that you store as inter for interrogation 4EI3L on your case, put OK, and put OK. Second, third, select the item, create what it has received, select here, OK, go to commodities, select the item, edit, put the location 4EI3L, OK, 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 and we have all the things in in on hand, okay, the three items. And with this, we finish the first lab. Please make a screenshot for this screen and this, and all of this to Dr. Messi. And this is the proof for lab number 11. Okay, after that, we will go to lab number 12. Create a sales order. Okay. You are with the seller who for you sell it inventory. For the exercise, you will sell it as you may a system per create a sales order. The exercise will interest the of creating a purchase order. Some of the new items that you purchase are being bought by a customer. Next, you will create the sales order for this transaction. You are going to release the items, create invoice, create the commission, and report. Do you remember how many you purchased in your purchase order in the previous assignment before you begin the assignment, return to PO and refresh your memory? Now, how much we order? We ordered 100, okay, remember 100. Okay. Where do you fill the sales orders in your Magaya system? Go to the sales folder, okay. Sales orders, okay. Here's my sales order. Click the add button, okay, perfect. In the dialog box, enter the following information in the general tab. Here's the general tab. Select the sales person. Where is my sales person? Is Jeff Smith? Okay. Select the shipping date tomorrow. I will live here and shipping tomorrow. Okay. I believe we need to put, okay, yeah, no, no problem. Because we receive it, we don't have to change this. Select the shipping day tomorrow, select the buyer, and select pre automotive. Buyer, I don't remember, oh, I have pre automotive, good. Okay, and pre automotive, what more? Okay, the street Orlando, perfect. Part number field, click the drop down and select. Okay, it's the part number here. Select first my 40 champion spark blue. Where is my 40 champion spark blue? 40 champion spark blue here. How many order? 22 pieces. 22. Perfect. Click add. Okay, perfect. Add the other spark plus for Bosch. Add four, selecting them for each one. Okay. Next, I go to my 40. 40, 40, 40. Here is my 40. Uh, 40, 40, 40 Bosch. Here's my 40 Bosch. And say 10. Add. Okay, and the last one, auto light, 40 auto light. Let's see my 40, 40, where is, where is, where is? Auto light, here is my auto light. How much thing? Add, okay. Ready. On the advanced set of the sales order here, Select the payment terms, necessary, select manner, modus transportation via truck. Okay, on the charge tab, add an income charge for England freight, England freight for 75, 75. 
apply it to prime automobile. Okay, remember you're selling to city who will pay the transportation cost to my customer. Okay, and press okay. We will leave the other tab lines into the exercise. Click OK at the sales order. Okay, this is the sales order. The information entered into the yellow box appears in the sales order document four. Write down the sales order the number. You will need to enter as part of the exercise. Okay, I will put OK. And my sales order number is 15. Okay, here is my sales order. You have the sales order list. I can update. Ah, yeah. Why I can see because the sales order we will make tomorrow. I have 15. This is my sales order. Okay. Anyway, step number two. Chief stating, oh, create a cargo release. Who do create a cargo release for the sales order? Go to the sales order that just created. Click the actions button and select create cargo release. Where is here is create cargo release. Yeah, the transaction cannot be created because the items do not have the prepared status. Right click on the mouse and select allocate all. Let's see what is right click on the status and create allocate all. Let's see again what happened. Creating voice, by voices. Yeah, say it. Let's see it. Information. Right. Okay. Right click the mouse and select a local. Oh, let's see. I don't see anything that say a local. Let me change. Oh, let me open here. Right here. Here. Allocat all, okay. Here is the local, yeah, okay. Allocat all, yeah. You see, I enter one moment to the sales order. I double click here and press allocat all, okay. This is the form to correct this problem. Okay, please, okay, okay. And let's go to repeat this. Go to the actions button. And select create cargo release and say next user local trucker carrier. Where is the carrier? Creation date release clear cargo release. Okay. Next user trucker trucker carrier your message. Okay. Let's see perhaps in the other part. Yes, here's the car. And the carrier we use CSI trucking here. Okay, nothing more of the information and finish. And we finish the step number two. Yes, cargo release. Okay, here's the cargo release for all the things. Okay, create invoice. How to create a quantity transaction server invoice? Go to the sales order. Okay, I go to the sales order. It's loading in the truck. Actions button. Select create invoice. Okay, here is the invoice. This invoice is filled with the charge of details automatically. Look, 100. This is the price to sell. Remember, this is different for the other. And the chart, the price to sell the, is one of the sparse. The new, this is good. Okay, then click OK to save. In this, save it in, in the invoices list in your accounting folder. You need to see the data. Let's see what I press OK. And this is my invoice. Wow. Here is my invoice. Look, here is the invoice. This with the charges, no taxes for the moment. When you have the invoice list, you have my beautiful invoice here. Okay. Okay. Number four, generate commission for sales for the salesperson. I'll go again to the sales order list. Okay. What day to the sales order? Select, click the actions, and select. Go to the sales order. Click the action button. Click OK. And let me see what to say. Go to the sales order. Click the action buttons. Okay, I click the action buttons. Okay, 
Click OK in the dialog box. What dialog box? The source created a bill and saves it. OK. Create a commissions. This is the, the thing that is not greater in the instructions. Please go to generate commissions. OK. This is the commissions calculating base of the 10%. OK. Uh, and press OK. The software created a bill, Javis Mill. We have to pay to Javis Mill the commission to $24.90. Perfect. To add a commission amount to item, go to the inventory of the official list, let it go to the cutting tab. Yeah. So what is this? To add a commission amount to item, go to the inventory item, definition list, select the item, and go to the cutting tab in the item dialog. Then click the commission button to set the commission type and amount value five. Mm, we created the commission in the last step. Don't do this, okay? But because um, we don't have to create any extra commission for this. The item the unbought. Okay, yeah, we created this. Uh, don't, don't take the care for this step. Okay, number five, create reports. How would you make a report by supplier? In the commodity list, in the warehouse folder, Click the action button, select reports by supplier. Okay. In the warehouse, in commodity list. Okay. Click the action button, select reports by supplier. Let me see. In the commodity list, click the action button, reports by supplier. Where is my supplier? There's a lot of things here with it. Oh, I believe it's more than this by sales order. My supplier, right? Look, you have trouble, please. I repeat only that you can see how I can display this, yes? Because it's a lot of buttons you can press here in any part and with this you can move okay by supplier okay how do you customize the report in the report click the actions button again select choose columns at the bottom in the dialog box click the add columns okay here are related columns dialog box up Appear, okay, appear. Select the relating elements of the purchase item for the drop downs and select price. Let's see where is price. Price, 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 price. Where is price? I don't find price. Let me see. Select the relating elements of the purchase item for the drop down and select of the purchase item relay element for the purchase employer is group expense income issue notes future prices release release status does not i don't see my team. ah related elements here select inter or select return the sell item for the robots and select price I don't see anything that say price interrelated elements. Select the related elements of the cell item. Relates element for the cell item here, okay? And select price here. Select price finally. Here, move it and click OK. Move it is move here and click OK. Okay. And okay. And with this, view the columns in the report to compare your cost and selling price of items. This shows the total price that you bought the items for and how much you sold the items per transaction. For example, if the price of item is changed in a sales order, we reflect in the reports. The software gives the option to filter what you see in the report for data and rotary data. Let's create some reports. Okay, let's first understand this. Okay. 
Yeah, this is a lot of bits, okay? When we use the metal orders by supplier, here, look, here's the, here is the, uh, the, the, the auto lactable, the last cell, okay? Other house items by supplier, okay? I loaded on hand, this is the two that I sell, the weight, warehouse, I don't see it, this is the price, the pieces, and this is the dimension, but I don't see, let me see if I can expand this, let me make an update, okay, pieces led with balloons, Nice warehouse release. What is this? We suppose that we can. I need to see what say it is. This is the cell. Okay. This is the cell. Okay. Pieces, but I don't see the price. This is very strange for the report. So look, let's create some reports for the report. Okay, for the reports menu on the top of your Magai Explorer, select Profits Report. On the Profits, in this report, select Profit Report. By customer, detailed transaction. Let's see what happened. Okay, this is the cost by customer. Click the arrow on the side of the print button. Okay. Options include printing the report or saving is a PDF. You can save the PDF, you can email it to your professor. Your instructor will tell you what to do with this assignment. Okay, look, here you can save this report, but as you remember, we can, you can have trouble for this reason only. Only. Only make screenshots, right? Here's just the prime commodity to show that you so, the expense, the income, and the profit for buying automobile. Okay, let's let's see that you can make a screenshot for this. You can make a screenshot for for the perhaps for the commission. Yes, it's not an instruction, but this is the the last uh, the important thing, right? That you can show this. But as I say, perhaps it's a good idea that you show to Dr. Messia team voice. Where is team voice? Let's check in. Where is my invoices? And where's my invoices? Let me check one moment. Create invoice. Where is my accounting folder? Let's see where is my folders. Here is my accounting folder. There's a lot of folders. Oh, thank you for the reason. I'm confused sometimes. Here is my invoice. You can open this and you can show. Perhaps you can send this to Dr. Messi. Right? A screenshot for this. And he can see the invoice and he can see the, the bill. The bill for uh, perhaps a good idea. Send this, send invoice, send the bill for Mr. Jeff Smith, send this, that you, you pay the commission, and send the last report, right? The report that, that the system said, that the report for, for profit report, okay? Profit by customer transactions. In the part that showed that you, the profit that you make for the automotive. This is three, and with this, I believe uh, Dr. Messia will see that you finish the exercise. Okay, with this, we finish Magaya. If you see this video, it's a good idea that you can end this in this weekend of Thanksgiving. With this, at Monday or the next week, you can go to Dr. Messia's office at CV, uh, Rider Builder, three third floor, and you can uh, pick up your Magaya diploma for completion of the course, okay? Thank you for watching my videos. Uh, you have, you need any help? This Monday, this Monday, I believe it's two, Monday two. I, this is the last Monday that I will be there in, at 7 p.m. Go to that.
Okay, thank you and have a good weekend.